Once upon a time, there were three nerds. One was a techie, the second was a teacher, and the last one was a movie junkie. Pride, I yeah, officially hate you. No, no idea how good that feels. And they each performed very hazardous duties. But I took them away from all that. And now, they work for me. My name is Clive. So, I have no idea what I'm going to do for this video today, so I thought I would just read from this book. Actually, I'm going to make it a competition. If you can guess what this book is in comments or in a video response, you will win a free internet. Yes, one free internet. Isn't that amazing? No? I don't care. Far, far away. Jutting out into the emptiness beyond, like the figurehead of a mighty stone ship, is the edge. Shrouded in mist and bordered by open sky, it is a place of forest, swamps, and rocklands. There are many who inhabit its various landscapes, from the trolls, drugs, and goblins of the perilous deepwoods, to the phantasms and spectres of the treacherous twilight woods. from the bleached scavengers of the mire to the white ravens of the stone gardens, while in undertown that seething urban sprawl that straddles the Edgewater River, there are creatures from all over the edge who have travelled there to discover what they hoped would be a better life than the one they left behind. Not all the inhabitants of the edge live with their feet on the ground, however. Some, the citizens of the great floating city of Santafrax, live with their heads literally in the clouds. Dwelling and working in their sumptuous palaces and lofty towers, they are the academics, alchemists, sub-acolytes and apprentices, plus, of course, all those who make their lives of research and study possible, the guards, the servants, the cooks and the cleaners. Secured by the great anchor chain to the centre of Undertown below, the rock upon which Santafrax has been constructed is still growing. Like all the other buoyant rocks of the edge, it started out in the stone gardens, poking up from the ground, growing, being pushed up further by new rocks growing beneath it, and becoming bigger still. The chain was attached when the rock became large and light enough to float up into the sky. Over the years, successive generations have built more and more impressive buildings upon it, ever grander, ever higher. The once splendid great library and erstwhile palace of lights are now dwarfed by the College of Cloud, the palatial school of light and darkness, the twin towers of the mist sifters, and of course, the magnificent Loftus Observatory. The latest additions to the central viaduct, that grand marble walkway which spans the air between the observatory and the great hall, are the most grandiloquent and ornate so far. Overseeing it all is the most high academe, an individual chosen by the Santafrac academics for his intellect and independence. In the past, this post was filled by one of the Earth Study Librarians. Today, with the Sky Scholars in control of Santafrax, it is from their ranks that the most high academe has been selected. Linnaeus Palitax. He is a father and a widower. In his enthronement speech, he spoke of the need for Sky Scholars to work with the ousted earth scholars once again for the betterment of all. What he is to discover, deep down inside the floating rock itself, is that when earth and the sky come together for the wrong reasons, there is no room for the greater good, but only for the greatest evil. The deep woods, the edgelands, the twilight woods, the mire and the stone gardens, Undertown and Santafrax, the river Edgewater, names on a map. Yet behind each name lie a thousand tales, Tales that have been recorded in ancient scrolls, tales that have been passed down the generations by word of mouth, tales which are even now being told. What follows is but one of these tales. Hello, angels. Your mission this week is to win chat roulette. Whatever you think is winning, is winning. Also, you have a theme for this week. 
you must talk in some way about books. Perhaps while repeatedly pressing F9. I don't care. Just as long as you win. Goodbye.